it's windy out here, guys. You know, these are, the, I put myself in dangerous situations. A seagull could fly in at any moment and take my head off. And that's the thing. I like to put myself in danger. This is the most dangerous place in the world. These birds are wild, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. They think I'm a giant mackerel just swimming around. They see me, they think I'm juicy. Big old greasy mackerel. I'm Maddie Matheson and we are here in the most beautiful body of water in all of England. Have you ever swam in the waters of England? All of the UK, it's cold, it's fucking brick. Very upsetting, chills the body, the nipples are hard, the skin is tight, come out of the water, and you know what you will find every single time? A fucking beautiful Gosney rock box, hot and ready for you to feast upon. Isn't that magical? If you dive into any body of water in all of England, when you bop your head up like a baby seal, the sun is shining down, you've come out, I need a breath, Gosney is there to warm you. I'm gonna show you how to make the best fire roasted clams you've ever seen in your life. Shall we begin? See, the thing about the dish that I'm going to make with the rock box today is that it's extremely special to me. And you can't cook just whatever you wanna cook. You have to have a story. You have to have something behind it that makes you feel a certain way because if it doesn't start with a feeling, then the food is trash. I was in Vietnam one time and I was on the beach. It was sunny, it was warm, much, much better than this horrible place. But you know what's amazing? We used to roast clams and grill clams on the beach and you have a beautiful chili, a little salsa verde, a couple of little roasted nuts. And all of a sudden you got a beach seaside snack, your hands are sticky, jump into the ocean. The birds are chirping, it's unreal. Literally the most beautiful place in England. This is it, and it's still gray as fuck. I love it though. This is a cast iron pan. This is an oven. We want to get this oven very hot. We want to get this pan very hot. So when we add the clams to it, there's going to be a reaction. We're going to make a salsa verde. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut up some ginger, and I'm not even going to waste any time peeling it. Make a little tube. We're gonna have shallots. We're gonna have ginger, so punchy, so fruity, so beautiful. And that, with the really nice meaty minerality of the clams. So this is a microplane or a rasp, whatever you, I call it a rasp. These, these Brits, they just call it a microplane. Clove of garlic, give it a little crack. Oh my God. Rasp it up. The rasp got me. Sometimes, you know, you're out in the wilderness. I told you this is the most dangerous place in all of England. And all of a sudden, the rasp is what got me. We got our shallots, we got our ginger, we got our garlic. Now, let's add some, a little spice it up. I'm just doing red and green for color. Keep the seeds in. If you don't like things really spicy, take the seeds out. It's all up to you. And look how easy this is. Literally, I'm talking about a bunch of bull crap. You could use this on like grilled steak. You could use this on pork. You could use this on anything, this sauce. Now let's just chop up some cilantro, a little chiffonade, a basil, and then a little parsley just to round it out. We're gonna add just a little bit of sesame oil. I like a lot of fish sauce. So remember, fish sauce is really salty. Clams, kind of salty, come from the ocean, right? So you don't wanna add too much, but you wanna add just enough. I don't like to measure things. I like to just pour everything in a bowl, and we're gonna walk through it. We're gonna taste things. We're really gonna make it really lively. Okay, we got a little bit of oil to round out this. And most vinaigrettes, right, are like, everyone always says it's like one part acid, three parts oil. I don't like that. I don't think that that's enough acid. When I make vinaigrettes, I always like to do like a 50-50 with acid and oil. We got some uh, limes here. We're gonna use that as our acid. Lots of lime. I'm bleeding. This is the real life. This is life. You're gonna like that. People are gonna comment on that. Wow! Whoa. That is punchy! And look at that. I added zero salt, right? And you know what? I don't have to. That fish sauce did all the work. That toasted sesame oil did all the work. 
We just gotta add some fresh pepper. Wow. Come see, come saw. The pan is hot. We're gonna get these roasty. Look how hot that pan is. All those clams instantly hit that hot pan. Boom! Any moisture that's gonna come out of those clams are gonna help release the moisture, popping open those beautiful things. And we're gonna kinda do it dry, right? Cause that's just gonna make them extra smoky. Oh, these are fucking nice! They're just cooking in their own juices. Absolutely beautiful. Instantly cracking open these hot, beautiful clams. Clams usually take a little bit of time, don't they? Not today, not the old rock box! Ah! We're gonna take our clams, beautifully opened. Oh. <laughs> Say magnifique. Say magnifique. Look how juicy these are. These are cooked perfectly. And this is the thing I'm talking about. We didn't have to add any moisture. Look at that clam liquor. 30 seconds. You saw all of a sudden the steam. That wasn't smoke, that was steam. Yeah! They're excited, they can smell it. The seagulls. And now, dress our clams, letting the salsa verde fall within the cracks. The thing that threw me through a loop was the peanuts. I was like, why the hell are you putting peanuts on clams? The world is afraid of just a little blood. This is real. This is why they brought the big dog. This is Maddie. I'm not afraid. A little nick from the microplane, the rasp. I'm out here making clams on the beautiful Dorset seashore. That won't stop me. I could literally probably cut my finger off. Nothing would stop me from finishing this clam dish. I'm an absolute professional. The beautiful, fleshy, meaty clam cooked perfectly with no other flavoring agent but itself. Cooking, steaming, opening up the clam liquor. Is there a better liquor? No. The herby, punchy, acidic fish sauce and the salty roasted peanuts. And all of a sudden you start chewing that up and you're like, what is all that? That's perfection. Mm -hmm.